Hey kiddos and welcome to music class. My name is Mrs. Liziola and I am so glad that you decided to join me for our very last music lesson of the year. We know it's kind of sad but kind of happy because we get to have a nice relaxing restful break over the summer and then I'll probably see you next year in music class again. So that's all right. For our very last lesson I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to show you all this really cool way of performing rhythms on a percussion instrument. Except this percussion instrument is not a traditional instrument like a drum or a marimba or maracas or shikare. It's, it's actually something that's not an instrument at all. It is a bucket. So this week we are going to learn about um, a kind of music called bucket drumming. And bucket drumming is actually wildly popular and it's very, very cool. And all it requires is a bucket. Before I tell you too much about bucket drumming and show you how you can do it at home or in your class, I want you to watch this video with me. We'll just watch a little clip, um, but you can always find it on YouTube. If you look up bucket drumming, you can find some more to explore. Let's look at this one together. It's pretty cool. So they just have drumsticks and upside down buckets. Pretty cool, right? So you'll see there, they just had buckets turned upside down. They actually painted theirs black, um, which I don't have a black bucket. I just have a regular Home Depot orange bucket. Um, but they painted theirs black and they were just striking it with drumsticks. So today I brought with me my own bucket and my own drumsticks. Oopsies, I'll play again. But I want you to find something similar to use. So if you're at home and you don't have access to like one of these Home Depot buckets or something like that, you can always use something else that's similar in shape and um, size. Maybe you could use a plastic, not glass, a pl plastic mixing bowl and turn it over if your grown-up says that's okay. Because that's the same kind of shape. It's like a, a round opening and it's hollow inside. Um, you could also use a laundry basket and tip that upside down. You could even, if you're at school right now watching this video, you could use your desk, okay? So you need something to pretend to be your bucket. I actually have a bucket, but again, you could use a bowl. Um, you could use a laundry basket. You could use a desk if you have to. That'll be fine. Then you need something to be your drumsticks. So I, again, I had drumsticks. Um, but if you don't have any drumsticks, that's okay. You could turn over two wooden spatulas and use those. You could use some sturdy pencils that wouldn't break. You could use sticks from outside. Anything that you have two of that are about the same size that you could strike your pretend bucket drum with, all right? So if you want to, you can pause that now. Actually, you should pause that now and go find something around wherever you are that would work as a bucket and drumsticks, all right? Go ahead and pause it and look for those now. Okay, now hopefully you have found them. If you haven't paused it yet, go back and do that. You can't just watch. You have to play along with us. All right, now I wanna show you there are four places to play on a bucket, okay? I'm gonna scoot back a little bit so you can see. There's four places to play on a bucket. The first one would be the sides. Again, if you don't have a bucket, this would just apply for whatever you have. If you're at your desk, it would apply to the sides of your desk the black metal parts on the side, or even the legs. If you have a bowl, the sides of the bowl. If you have a laundry basket, the sides. But that's the very first part is the sides. Yeah, try striking that. Very nice. Now you'll see on this, this little graph right above us, we have a four line staff, right? A staff is the place that we read music from and you'll see there's four lines. And that very bottom line of the four line staff is going to represent the sides of the bucket. So I'll put mine down so you can see. That is the sides. All right. Next, we have the rim. So the rim is like the outer edge right here. The rim. This is the rim, the outer edge. Can you try striking the rim of your makeshift bucket drum? 
So you'll see the rim is on that second line from the bottom of our four line staff. The very bottom is the sides. The second from the bottom is the rim. So we have the sides and the rim. Next we have the head and the head is the very top, the circular part that they were striking for the most part in that video I showed you. It has a nice hollow sound to it. That's the head. So we have sides, rim, head. The very next one doesn't actually involve your pretend bucket drum at all. It just involves your makeshift drumsticks, and that's just clicking them together in the shape of an X. Just like that. And you'll see that at the very top line right there. So we have the sides, the rim, the head, the click. And that is all four components of your bucket drum. And those are all the different sounds, the different sounds we can make with a bucket drum. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. So I can show you different rhythms that we can play. You might not be able to see all of my bucket drum, but as long as you can see your own, that's what matters. All right, let's look. There's those four. We're gonna practice. You'll see that rhythm down there is just four taws. We're gonna play four taws on the sides of our buckets. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Did you do it? Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Very nice. All right, the next one is the same rhythm, four taws, right there on that second line from the bottom of our four line staff, and we're playing this along the rim. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Yeah, and you'll notice I'm playing all of them with both sticks, but if you feel real confident about your drumming abilities and your rhythm reading, you could also do it fancy by switching, alternating. Right? Ta, 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 or ta, 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 ta. So whatever you're comfortable with. I'll keep doing it with both at once. Ta, 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 ta. All right, let's look at the next one, which will be on the head. The head is that top circular part, right? Same rhythm. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Very nice. And the very last one, remember, doesn't involve our bucket drum at all. It's just the sticks. We're going to strike them together in the shape of an X four times on the, the ta rhythm. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. All right. It looks to me like you all are ready to step it up. We're going to follow along on the rhythms that you will see right here on the four line staff. Let's see if we can follow along together. One, two, ready, go. Were you able to follow along? Nice. Let's look at the next one. Here we go. Remember, this is on the rim. You can see right there on the side the picture of the rim next to this line. Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Very nice. Next one is going to take place on the head of the drum, right? For that nice hollow sound. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Very nice. And the very last one is going to be that same rhythm, four tas per measure. Happens four times with a click in the shape of an X. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Very nice. All right, let's mix it up. Let's get it a little bit harder. Level up, right? See, this one has parts on the head and parts on the side. Study that for a second. Do it in your head or practice it right there if you need to on your makeshift bucket drum. Head, 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 side, 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 sides. Head, 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 side, 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 sides. All right, let's play it together. You studied. One, two, ready, go.
very cool. You can see it's starting to sound cool when you hear the different types of sounds, the different timbres of sounds from striking it on different places. All right, let's try this one. Study it for a few seconds. Looks like side, side. Oh, no, that's rim. Rim, 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 rim. Click, 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 click. Rim, 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 rim. Click, click. Okay, we can do it. You've studied. One, two, ready, go. Rim, rim, rim. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, you'll see up there. This one has directions. It says we're going to play it two times. This is the first time. All right. Study it if you need to. We have a different rhythm. It's not just ta. We have tt in here as well. Quite a few times. So study it for a few seconds. Then we'll play it together. All right. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, go. Head, 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 head. Tee, 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 ta, ta. Did you get that one? It was a little challenging. Let's try it again. Ready? Here we go. Head, 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 head. Sides and sides and sides, sides. Head, 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 head. Sides and sides and sides. Sides. So that was the first time we played it, but remember it says we're playing this twice. So let's go to the second time. You can always see right up there on top of the rhythms, it tells you which number we're on. So we just played the first one already. Now we're on number two. You can see there in red font. Here we go. Head, 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 head. Sides and sides and sides, sides. Head, 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 head. Sides and sides and sides, sides. Very nice. All right. Ready to level up again? I'm sure. There we go. Study it for a few seconds. All right. It's all studied now. Let's see if we can play it together. One, two, ready, go. Side, sides, head, head. Side, sides, head. Click, 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 click. Nice, that one was challenging, but don't worry, you see right up there, it says we have four times to play it. So if you didn't get it just yet, you have three more tries. Here we go, here's try number two. One, two, ready, go. Did you get it that time? If not, that's all right. We have two more tries. Here's try number three. One, two, ready, go. And here comes try number four. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. All right, we are going to do it again, but this time we are going to add some music. And I asked some of your peers, some kids your age in the district, what song I should include. And a lot of people liked this song by Imagine Dragons. And actually I had never heard the song before, so it was new to me, but I decided to use this song by Imagine Dragons because I thought you might like it. We are going to try our bucket drumming, those same rhythms that we just learned to this song Follow You by Imagine Dragons. Let's do it together. Don't forget, we start down here on the sides. One, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. To the rim. Get ready to go to the head. Change it up. Head, 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 side, 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 side. Rim, 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 rim. Click, 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 click. Rim, 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 rim. Click, 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 click. Second 
time. Nice job, you guys. That's all I have for bucket drumming. I know it was kind of challenging, but I'm glad you guys hung on. This was a really fun last lesson, and I have absolutely loved being your music teacher this year. Last thing you're going to do before you sign off is you're going to click that Flipgrid link, and I want you to share with me your very favorite rhythm that you learned on bucket drumming this week. And make sure you show me if it was on the rim, on the sides, the rim, the head, or the clicks. I can't wait to see which part was your favorite. Love you. Have a great summer.